In today's video, I explore a secret smuggler's den at sunrise to get shots just like these. Just before seven o'clock, sunrise is due properly at about 20 past. There is enough light for me to see the pathway, which is good because it's right at a cliff top. And um, it's definitely not a route I'd want to do. If it was in complete darkness, I would feel pretty unsafe. So this is a spot that I've seen from the train tracks. Now, the train track is literally here. You can see this overhead thing. And it's the main line that goes from Edinburgh down to London. And I've done that route quite a few times. And every time I do, well, most of the time that I do, I see this ruin, this old ruin sort of tucked into a little nook in the cliffside. I found it really interesting and I've wanted for a long time to come and see it. I've tried googling it and there are some there are some pictures and a little bit of info that it used to be well there's been various things at one point it was like a smuggler's den which sounds really cool. Never been here before in my life. Um, don't know how accessible it's going to be. It's very muddy. Um, and I really don't know how things are laid out. I know that the sun is sort of rising behind me, but I don't know whether this place is going to be better in sunrise or sunset. So this very much right now is... I'm, well, I'm treating it more, I suppose, of a fact-finding mission rather than necessarily a mission where I'm absolutely going to get great shots. I mean, if you're seeing this at all, then at the beginning of this video, you will have seen some of the shots that I've got. I'll have done my usual, hello in this video, blah, blah, blah. Let's see the shots we're going to get. So hopefully I'm gonna get something. Well then, this is my first view. Just come over the little ridge, and it's just here, tucked away behind this bit. So it's very, very hidden, and it looks like there's a little footpath that just sort of leads through. Um, looks like it should be relatively easy going. But I'm also wondering if actually this might be a good first shot to get because I'm going to get the sun rising, as you can see, over here. It's not quite up yet, it's still fairly dark. But because it's rising over that way, it might be lighting up these, uh, these rocks over here. Um, and yes, the building itself is sort of lost in the landscape a little bit, but I kind of like that. It kind of shows how secluded and remote it is. So maybe this shot could work. We have got some of this nice morning light coming in and um, I'm going to get this shot quickly and then I think I'm going to move down to actually kind of where this little ridge is and I think I can fill the frame with the building a little bit more and this, this rock um, and hopefully get some of that nice morning light on it. But for now I'm taking this shot at f8, ISO 125, in fact let's just turn the ISO down to the minimum. Uh, you can see my shutter speed and I've manually focused. And there's my shot.
So I was right actually in that standing on this uh, uh, little bit that we saw in the last shot actually does give a much nicer composition. See that the house is much more prominent in the frame. We've still got these nice uh, rocky cliff bits uh, behind it and we've also got more of the coast sort of leading our way through the scene. We've still got nice colours in the sky and nice colours on the scene throughout. So um, I framed up my shot as you can see here. Same settings as before, f8, ISO 100. I've manually focused, two second exposure, uh, self timer, and there we go. So I'm gonna have to try and find a different way around. I might need to backtrack just a little bit because I would like to get down to, uh, to ground level. I'd like to try and get some of this uh, rocky coast in the water um, as foreground interest. Um, still keeping this nice uh, big rock bit uh, in the background. I think that looks really, really nice. Um, but I'm gonna have to figure out a route because I don't want to fall to my death. I just don't think this shot is going to be worth it. I've been playing around with a few different compositions using these nice uh, rocky outcrops as foreground interest. The one I'm working on at the moment is this here. Um, I've got this rock here quite close to the camera and I've brought my aperture as wide open as possible, that's f2.8, because I really want to try and get some depth. So I want this rock to be out of focus. This isn't one of those landscape shots where everything has to be pin sharp. Instead, I want to show that depth by having this out of focus leading into the, uh, the sharpest point, which will be the house in the distance. As you can see now, the sun is rising nicely. We've got this beautiful light falling on it. Um, I think the shot's gonna look really nice. So as before, I've got my scene set up. You can see that it is pin sharp on the house. I've made sure to manually focus. Um, it is quite wobbly, um, so I have also increased my ISO speed just to get me a really fast shutter speed so that um, any sort of wind vibration isn't gonna be a problem. Uh, but still, I'm using the two second timer. Just tap, and there's my shot. really pleased with some of the shots I'm getting right now. This light that's coming in is gorgeous. The colors are incredible. So I just want to move around the scene, get a few more shots and just try and take advantage of these conditions while they're still here. So pleased with these conditions. The forecast was decent, which is why I chose to come today. I've been wanting to come for quite a while, but I knew I wanted to come for sunrise. And frankly, it's easier to get sunrise shots in winter. And when I say easier, I mean I don't have to get up quite as early. And here I am, finally made it down. Hi sheep, don't let me disturb you. You carry on about your mucky business. I'm just going to take some photos, if that's okay with you. Any problems, let me know. They seem fine with it. Okay, I think it might be time to do a little exploring. This looks like the front door. Ooh. If this was a video game, there'd be secrets buried there. Ooh, hello. Okay, I think a through the window shot like this is gonna look really cool. You just saw in real time me finding a shot. So there we go, let's get this. 
So I'm actually going to go for a portrait orientation because, of course, that fits the shape of the window. Um, I am going to have to do an exposure stack, though, because obviously the, you can see that the wall on the inside um, uh, of the building is quite dark and all the sky and all the outside is very, very blown out. So I'm going to have to take one shot which is underexposed, one shot which is overexposed and combine them both in post. good news is I've made it down onto the actual beach or rather all these rocks it's not really a beach is it the coast I suppose and I've been trying to snap away and just get some other more landscapey compositions because it is a really interesting place as you can see with all these textures and lines in these rocks it looks really really cool I and mean, there's not loads of amazing like backgrounds to, uh, to put in but I am hoping to try and find one that I can include the house in and maybe use some of these rocks as more interesting foreground. I'm really enjoying myself though. I think this is when photography is at its best, when you come to a location like this where there is plenty of good photo opportunities, but you need to work to find them. You need to move around the scene. You need to be looking out for foreground interest, background things, you need to shift your viewpoint, you need to actually move your feet. You can't just stand in one spot, zoom in and out and expect to get great stuff, you need to work for it. And that's what I'm doing now, whilst also trying not to fall in these rocks. I definitely think there's a good shot to be had here using some of this rock as foreground interest, looking up at the building. Uh, but while there is good texture and stuff in this rock, it's definitely interesting, it's not a very defined foreground subject. So I'm going to move around because there's so much of this rock and it's all lined and pitted and there are pools everywhere. So I'm fairly certain that it's probably a better composition just by shifting the frame slightly. It's these great rock pools. loving exploring around here. Well maybe these rocks, these could look really nice actually. These pools rather. If I just make my way down, this could be a very nice bit of foreground. This could be a great shot. Okay, so I've definitely found my foreground and it is this rock in the pool here. We've got the nice bit of reflection. I've had to take off my polarizer because my polarizer kills reflections and actually we really want those reflections. That is what helps define it as a rock in water. Without the reflections it just looks like a load of rock. You can't really tell there's water there. Um, as you can see I've gone for a vertical composition because that really allows um, me to emphasize this foreground with this in the top of the frame and I think this shot looks really really nice. Uh, settings wise I'm going F. Let's go F9 and I'm going at a 40th of a second uh, focusing. For, I might not need to focus stack this because uh, F9 is probably going to be enough um, uh, depth of field to get everything nice and sharp but just in case I'm going to do one shot where I'm focusing on the rock and then I'm going to do another one when I'm focusing on the building and I might focus stack those in post or it might be fine as just one. I am really happy with that shot. In fact, it might even be my favorite of the day. It's a really nice composition. And we've also got some mood in there because the weather is turning, the clouds are coming in. And I really like that. As I've said many times, I love moody shots. I love cloud cover. And I think that combo of those clouds um, above that scene works really, really nicely. Um, I am now moving to where the ironwork bit is, the winch and that other little house, cabin, whatever it was. Um, I think it's going to have to be my last few shots because the weather is turning as I say. Um, 
I think it might start raining quite heavily. It is forecast to. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm out uh, before that happens. So I found the iron working. Definitely looks like an old winch, but look at this thing. These old iron textures. I love it. It's so cool. Really want to find a way of putting this into a good photo. I can maybe move around and try and find a composition this way where the winch is much more the subject by itself. Probably going to try a few things. Let's move around. See, I can't quite like this. We've got these nice gouges in the rock here, which look pretty cool as well. So maybe you know, moving it down, making sure that it isn't, doesn't intersect too much with the rocks behind it so that it really kind of stands on its own. Something a little bit more like that. Okay, I think I've got some ideas. I'm going to see what I can get. For now, I want to go and have a little explore of this other little bit. This might be more of the smuggler's one. This tiny little thing built into the built into the rock at the base of the cliff. Interesting. It's sort of place where you'd expect to come in and see a skeleton leaning up against a treasure chest. I mean, oh, there's all these old and if you can see that, it looks like loads of old, um, very, very rusted and decayed chains. What a cool little spot. So the tide is coming in, the wind is changing. It's about half past, ugh, half past 10 uh, in the morning. So I think it is time for me to call it a day here. Um, I'm really pleased with what I've got. This was very much, as I said at the start, just going to be a scouting mission. And, um, and it still is. I think there's a lot more that I can do here. And I'd certainly love to come back at different times of the day. I think uh, in sunset, when the sun is on the other side of the building, it will open up a completely different set of, um, set of images. But I've had a good mix. We've had that morning uh, light, those morning colours. I've had a bit of blue sky. I've also had some of that moody cloud. So I feel like I've got a little bit of everything. Mm, still hot. I've only seen the shots on the back of camera so far, but I'm going to consider this a success. There's definitely at least a handful of shots, which I think I'm really, really pleased with. They've definitely got some great morning light, some beautiful golden colours. Hopefully the compositions are pretty good as well. Oh wow, my glasses are steaming up. It's probably the coffee. Definitely pleased. And if nothing else, it's been such a great place to come and explore that old broken down house. I mean, it kind of looks like a chapel. I, I really want to kind of find out some more information. And, and that little sort of shelter bit built into the uh, into that cliff face. It's a fascinating area. I'm sure there's some amazing stories um, to be to be told around here. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed seeing the photography um, that I've done today and enjoyed seeing how I think about the shots that I want to get, how I approach a new place like this. It's not always about going into somewhere with the exact shot and exact composition in mind. Sometimes it's about going to a completely new place and just starting from scratch, trying to find those compositions, trying to find those angles that, that you really want to get and that work best with the light. Um, yeah, hopefully that has been helpful. If you have enjoyed this video, do please hit that like button. Definitely please do consider subscribing if you don't already, and I will see you next time. Next time.